survival cord, paracord, bank line, all has its place. Strapping like this, I think is a very great item to have in your bug out bag, in the trunk of your car. Um, have a good size length in your pack. You'll be able to use it for building structures, tying items down. I used it to tie my canoe down to the top of the vehicle. It worked great. That's the red back strap. Now, this size right here, 50 feet, three quarter inch, 900 pound braking strength, 300 pound working load. Takes up zero space in a backpack. You could have 50 feet of portage with you all the time, under a pound in weight. There's another way it comes, comes in this cool bucket, 200 feet. It's both of them are three quarter inch wide. What I like about this stuff is you just pull off what you need and you cut it. It's pretty tough. It won't fray. You don't need to melt the ends. It does not fray when you cut it. I mean, it'll it'll frizz up a little bit, but it's not going to come unraveled the way it's built. It's not a tubular webbing. It's just a straight webbing. You try burning it, it will burn. It will start a fire in a pinch. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put an affiliate link down below. Check it out. Grab yourself a roll. See what you think. Emergency situation. You can pull out enough. Cut it off. I'll show you something. So you need to pass over a wall or climb up a block um, structure or get over some rocks or get down a cliff. Find your center point. Find your center point and then bring it down to your open end. And you want to bring one down a little bit, make a loop. Knot it up. Tighten up your knot. I'm trying to keep this little piece inside the knot. Okay. Now, we can hook a carabiner in here, or you can end up going through that again. You're better off with a carabiner. But this will be your tie-off point. And if you want to make a rope ladder, come down about a foot. And then take one side so you have your loop enough for a foot. Go about eh, 10 inches or so. Down a foot where my thumbs are and my forefinger. Down a foot. And then your loop is out here. Pinch that spot, tie a knot. You can make this as long as you want. Okay, now your top knot is gonna be like that. We need a loop up here. This will be the top of the, the ladder so we have a separate loop here. Okay, so that's running off to the right, your left, come down about the same distance, take this side now, pull out for your loop, and you can measure these out to be perfect, but in a pinch, you need to get a rope ladder together quick, this is all you need to do. Now you see what I'm doing? One loop goes to this side, the other loop goes to this side. Next loop's gonna go to this side, and so on. You attach a carabiner on this, tie it off to a point, back to itself, 
this hanging you could climb down from a structure if you have enough made you just keep going with your loops you could stiff these up with bank line um, you could wrap fold it wrap bank line around there you could put a stick there even tie a stick lash a stick to the bottoms just to give you like an actual step but these are not too hard to if you make them big enough your your foot's gonna go in there your boots gonna find that you're gonna have a hand in there a hand in one and the other a boot and you climb so that's a quick simple rope ladder that you could do with this you got 50 feet in your pack cut it in half you have 25 feet of rope minus the knot so probably 20 feet of rope ladder simple little project right there lightweight and you can take this all back apart again real simple the knots on this bind but it's a nice slippery surface and the webbing because it's webbing and not rope it doesn't doesn't bind where it's hard to get the knots out again overall red back strap I like it I'm definitely gonna throw that small 50 foot roll in my pack just to have it um, I'm gonna try it out through the summer do some different things hunting season I'll probably build a nice uh, a new sling to drag with crossed drag deer out of the woods thanks for watching guys let me know down in the comments let me know what you think about the red back strap have you ever used anything like this would you consider buying it thanks for watching